Watch out, John! Yeah, I'm in. Do something about getting John unstuck out there. If I can get us all the way to the rock, yeah, we're, we're jumping gonna... off. So is this dangerous, Jimmy? Whoa! All right, folks, this is Jason with the Primal Outdoors channel, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of different type of overlanding. Jimmy, who is an overland fanatic, has offered to take us on a excursion through the beautiful Rogue River scenic area. And already we've just started off with uh, trying to get the boats launched and everything, and the excitement was exciting right from the get-go. I'm so glad I was filming. <laughs> is that is that is that the uh, technical way to do it, Jimmy? <laughs> That's the pro way. <laughs> now, of course, Jimmy says he meant to do that. That that's just the way they do it here on the Rogue. Is they let their boats drag them into the water, but they usually do it in the summertime. Yeah, in October. So instead of the van, we're going to be here in this raft and enjoying uh, some beautiful country. I did bring my fly fishing pole, so I'm hoping to catch some fish. Jimmy says there's no fish, but I've been seeing them jump everywhere. Hoping that we maybe have some fly fishing luck. So already Jimmy failed. Um, supposed to be a fly fishing trip he told me I was gonna catch tons of fish Not a fly. and he packed my fly somewhere where I can't get to them right now so good job Jimmy you're welcome uh, yeah. woo. Uh. All, right. <laughs> all right so now we have some flies to try thanks to John who is our also accompanying us on this trip who is Jimmy's father-in-law yep. Jimmy one star and father-in-law five star. All right, so is this our first kind of real set of rapids here, Jimmy? Yeah, this is the first like a class three of the trip. Okay, we got bigger ones than this coming? Bigger ones than this coming. This one gets a little bony in low water, so. Is there a reason why we're going into it sideways? Yep, we set up. Looks like John's hung up. Watch out, John! Watch out, hop in! Yeah. I'm hoping to get you off! Uh. Pushing, pushing, alright. We're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it. Uh, Got one. Get on the bow. All right, so that actually went fairly, would have went much smoother, but we were trying to help John, who got locked up on a rock, and then we got kind of locked up, and then just made it a little bit more extra fun and interesting there for a second, but we're waiting for John. He's got to try to get off the that big rock there, and that's going to be challenging. He's really, like, like, centered on that thing. Try to keep us closer. Tie up! You might have to tie up! Yeah, you just have to be ready to cut it if it starts pulling us under. Well, I'm not gonna... And not the boat. I'm... <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. Alright. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay, so, yep. You might need to bounce.
If I can get us all the way to the rock, yeah, I'm we're jumping gonna, off. And yeah, then gonna, I'll, I'll gonna, push John off. We're going to get right behind this rock. Okay. In this pillow. Hang on, don't fall. Careful. Well, that's not... Coming off. Okay, hold on. You'll have to lift a little, Jason. Yep, I hear you. Do not fall. There you go. Nice. Hop in, Jason. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. All right, we got none of that on film. Really but good I, rope in, John. <laughs> but I jumped off the boat. We got up there close to the rock. I was able to jump off the boat. I was able to give some leverage for John. Get his boat off. Woo! Okay, you might get two stars for the fun, Jimmy. Perfect. Jimmy won't let me fly fish. This is the worst fly fishing tour ever. You're welcome. <laughs> At least the scenery is beautiful. It is actually, we've gotten through some of the area that was burned earlier, and a lot of the hillsides were from fire. When was that fire, Jimmy? Gotcha. So anyways, the area we're kind of going through now, it's still at the moment, we just went through some falls that were pretty fun. Got a little wet on that one. But uh, yeah, with the sun just creeping over this one hillside and the smoothness of the water and just the, the geographical features of the river, it's really, really, really stunning through here. What are we about to do, Jimmy? We are going to go to Rainy Falls and figure out which side we're taking, either the fish ladder or the metal chute. So we've got a stack up of boats right now that we're waiting to get through down there, and then uh, we're going to try and make our way through. So is this dangerous, Jimmy? It can be. Not with me, though. But we're You're fully safe. prepared? Fully prepared. So you have a helmet? I do. Do I have a helmet? If you brought one, you have one, yes. <laughs> Nobody told me to bring a helmet. <laughs> this is the worst guide service ever. <laughs> I mean, can that really be considered a helmet? It is. Yeah. I mean... It's fabulous. Give me a side profile. Does that look good? You want to get pointing at you? Uh, kind of flopping around. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> well, we're starting to stage up for this waterfall. I'm going to try to film this as best as I can, but I'm going to need my hands free. So I've got a little janky shoulder mount here that we're going to try to hook you guys up on. And uh, so you guys can get a little bit of the feel of this. But i got to help a little bit. i got to be down inside the boat area and then I've got to try to hold on to the oars to keep them from flying out. Uh, we'll, we'll do our best. Sounds like it's going to be a fun but a little bit jarring ride. I feel like we're going to ride through the middle there, Jimmy. Yeah, that's kind of, it depends on the, uh, uh. 
All right, guys, well, we're checking out an old cabin. It's just up from the river. Uh, we stopped to have some lunch, and Jimmy knew about this. It's a historic landmark, so I think it's pretty well documented. So anybody probably researching the road would know about this location. But it is definitely a cool spot and uh, worth checking out if you decide to do a river trip like this. All right, good morning, guys. So this is our first morning camp here on the river. It's been... It was really beautiful yesterday. Of course, I didn't actually get any video after we left the little cabin, mainly because we just came around the corner and set up camp. Camera was dead and I was pretty tired too, so I didn't film last night, but I'm sure we'll have, we still have at least three or four more camps on this trip. But yeah, last night was great. Beautiful spot. Give you a little look at what camp set up looks like here on the river the way Jimmy and John do it Jimmy's in a tent John's just uh, sleeping out on his hammock on these nice nights he's just hanging out wide open in the hammock uh, Jimmy has a little pot here that you can see that he basically just boils meals that they pre-made his wife made it pre-made a bunch of meals you can see here some the eggs we're eating this morning. We did have a little bit of a challenge this morning with the bag opening up, and so the eggs got a little watered down, but a little salt and pepper, and they were still real good. And then over here, I'm just set up, and you can see my tent, and I'm basically uh, just sleeping in it. I didn't put the rain fly over last night. It got a little dewy the other morning, so I just left it out to dry, and I just slept with the open air which was nice because it was clear all night and it was a nice starry night last night so this morning we've got a few clouds and uh, we think it will burn off it's supposed to be like 80 something today so we'll see we'll see what happens Another rapid successfully navigated by Jimmy, one star guides. see where my oar would have broke off. <laughs> we had about two inches to spare besides that, beside that rock. All right, good morning, guys. Well, we are, uh, how many days have we been on this river? Two full days. This is the third full day. We're on our full, third full day uh, of being on the river. And yeah, I tell you what, after about a couple days, 
your kind of mental mindset just really changes and uh, you really start to kind of relax and uh, you kind of forget, you know, what days and minutes and you're not really paying attention at the time and all that. But yeah, last night we camped right here in this little crook here, kind of a little rock island. Uh, it was kind of nice because you don't have little things like mice and different things getting into your camp, uh, having the water all around you, so that was handy. A little bit dewy down there. I mean, it's dewy anywhere here along the river, but definitely a lot more. I decided to sleep last night like John. John's just been sleeping out on his, in the open air with his cot, and I, I did the same thing. I just slept on an air mattress, and it was comfortable enough, but because of all the dew, I uh, got pretty wet. My sleeping bag's pretty wet. This morning we woke up to quite a bit of fog and it's actually already burning off. Uh, we're just working right now, I'm starting to pack up. Like I said, this is gonna be our last full day on the river. Uh, yesterday was fairly calm, you know, as far as like, there wasn't any like crazy rapids um, that we had to go through like the day before. But today I guess there's a section here that uh, Jimmy's been telling me about that definitely is a little bit more uh, tricky so we'll have to see how that goes but yeah so far this is just like I said been a really really great adventure and I'm I'm really enjoying it it's a lot of fun but anyways I'm gonna get back down with the guys we're gonna get things finished packed up and get on our way so Jimmy keeps telling me he's a legend down here we're about ready to find out about ready to find out the legend of Jimmy We got through the one section pretty well. Jimmy did awesome through there, I thought. I have never been down through this, so I wouldn't really know, but it seemed to do pretty good to me. But man, you come through this uh, canyon and it is just gorgeous, big rock cliffs with moss and trees. It just seems very tropical uh, through here. And then kind of breaking out into a little area of sun. It's just, yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Make sure we don't hit a rock. You're dribbling on your boat, Jimmy. Yeah, it'll wash off. All right, so you're taking this gate here. Rolling through. Bam. Boom. Boom. Oh. Bam. There we go. Clean. Feels good, Jimmy. Good job. There you go. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Good job, John. Good job. Back, back, back. Back, back, back. Yep, yep, yep. 64 years old. He's still getting it done. All right, folks. Well, Captain Jimmy has uh, brought us up to a cool little spot. You have to actually kind of climb up a little creek, but yeah, you got this little cavern. You see a little ladder over here, and uh, there's a little water slide, but man, this is like a little oasis, a little tropical spot. It's absolutely gorgeous just to even just be here, but also looks like a little bit of fun. It's cold, isn't it, Jimmy? It's a little, it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy? It's a little spicy.
so look at this up here so this is the top little pool just beautiful with the sunlight coming through the trees stunning but yeah then you slide down that down into the pool I gotta do it one more time. Woo! Go! No. Do it, Jimmy, come on! Captain Jimmy, the legend of Jimmy. <laughs> I am gonna say it is beautiful in here, but this water is cold. It's not blue pool cold, but it's cold. <sighs> Man, it's gorgeous in here. All right, folks, well, we've come to the end of another awesome day here on the river. Uh, we've settled into another camp, and the guys are already up, kind of working on dinner, getting that set up. And I'm just down kind of finishing up doing a few things here at where I'm going to camp where I didn't actually learn my lesson from last night. I slept out just under the stars. Got pretty dewy and I got pretty wet. But uh, it's our last night. So I'm going to sleep out under the stars again. Got me a spot here on a rock. And uh, looks pretty awesome. Beautiful views. Be able to listen to the river go by for the night. And that's going to be all right. So... Yeah, I can't say enough about how incredible this trip has been so far. Uh, I kind of hate that it's wrapping up tomorrow. Like we're gonna have another beautiful day we're just about all packed up uh, I think it's today is supposed to be pretty easy going uh, no real rapids or anything crazy to go through so yeah like I said last night a little bit bummed that this is coming to an end it's been an amazing adventure and uh, yeah tough to leave a place like this I want to stay here forever how long have you been floating the river? Um, probably 50 years. And made, I don't know, maybe 100 trips since then. Partly with my dad way back, early 70s, and then the last 20 years with James and Teresa. Thanks, Teresa, for the super meals. Yes, Teresa. Very good. We loved them. They were awesome. All right, guys, well, we are wrapping this gig up and uh, we're all loaded up. Like I said, this has been an absolutely amazing adventure. Really glad I got to go on it. I really appreciate Jimmy taking me on it. You guys have probably heard I've been giving Jimmy a lot of shit, but he did make it a lot of fun. And, you know, I'm really glad that I got to go on this trip. And I want to give a second thanks again to Teresa for the great pre-prep meals. Uh, Teresa is Jimmy's wife and she did some pre-prep meals and they were delicious all the way down the river. So appreciate everything. Awesome venture. Beautiful canyons. Beautiful place. 
Uh, if you ever get a chance, there's all kinds of guide outfits and stuff like that that can take you guys on this kind of adventure. So it might be something you'd be interested in doing. But until then, you guys, if you like this video, to do give it a like, give some comments, and we'll be on our way now to go pack up the van and get on another adventure in the van. So we'll see you guys again outside. Hey folks, this is Jason with the Prime Outdoors channel and today we're going to take you on a wild and scenic adventure through the beautiful Rogue River area. I'll be your captain today and my friend John is with me. We also have a newbie on the water. His name is Jimmy. He's a little bit scared, but it's okay. We're going to give him a taste of wild river rafting. Alright, so we've been going along a couple days been really nice we've had beautiful weather but we're coming up on blossom which is a major rapid here on the river jimmy's already peace fast for us <laughs> and uh he's a little bit nervous about this one but i've assured him that i have the skills necessary to be able to get us through this without too many problems i'm not sure what you're talking about this seems pretty easy jimmy you always kind of talk it up like this is super hard to do but i don't know this seems pretty easy john you just kind of stroke a little bit. It's easy for me. Well, I know. You're good at Not stroking. Not easy for you. You're good at stroking. That's why it's easy. <laughs> you're a good stroker. That's different. That's different <laughs> than the circle jerking. Don't fall the boat, newbie. 